Hi, today I'm going to do a review of the Yongnu YN622N by TTR Wireless Flash Trigger Transceiver. Now this um, this uh, transceiver it uh, works for Nikon system. Uh, the Canon one came out much earlier this year. I've been waiting quite excitedly for this uh, unit to arrive. Eh? Um, now it's uh, have a look at the transceivers themselves. Eh? Now they are transceivers, so they act both as a receiver as well as a uh, uh, sending unit. Eh? Uh, so you know they you can use them interchangeably, and both units uh, look uh, exactly the same. Eh? Now let's have a closer look at the units itself. Eh? Now uh, the units are quite surprisingly quite well made. You know, made of quite fairly uh, decent uh, um, plastic. Um, the top is has uh, got a like a shiny surface to it as you can see eh? uh, in terms of buttons you see there's a on to the side of it right side of it there's a sliding on off switch yeah there's a sliding on off switch and as well as a uh, as well as a, you know a, a button uh, this one is to set the group and on the other side you see there's another there's a set of uh, three leds as well as a uh, buttons to set your channel as well as to test the flashes eh? so let me go through the buttons again uh, you've got one button here to set your channel one button to do the test flashes one button to set your groups and as well as an on off switch eh? um, in terms of uh, the other aspects of the build quality um, the battery compartment uh, um, surprisingly again very well made eh? you know like the, the batteries go in and out easily you know it uses a standard uh, a, a batteries you know so I can use rechargeable with it yeah um, the cover fits in nicely it's got a nice positive uh, feel to it and it doesn't look like it's going to fall off when you're using it oh one more thing I forgot to mention that it comes with a infrared um, um, light in front as well and that, that is to help you with, you with your autofocus as, assist eh? uh, the other nice thing about this um, this uh, unit is uh, look at the legs eh? it's actually the flash shoe is actually a proper metal flash shoe as opposed to a cheap plastic shoe eh? um, and uh, for Nikon system the other thing that's good about it the way it locks and eh? when it locks it doesn't just lock with the with the uh, pressure ring it actually has a uh, Lo uh, locking pin as well that locks into the camera's uh, horn shoe uh, which is great if you mount it onto the camera it's um it's very uh very positive eh? you, you don't feel that it's going to slide off at all eh? um now in the box comes with a set of uh manuals um manuals uh, half of it is in english uh the other half of it is in uh chinese eh? mandarin eh? okay so i mean i haven't really had a good look at the manual yet but uh uh, I mean, it looks fairly, you know, comprehensive in terms of it does seem to try to explain everything. Eh? Um, but uh, I, I mean, I, until I get into some um, hitches with uh, trying to use this flash, I guess you know I'm not going to. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to like bother with the manual for now. Eh? Okay. Now, in terms of um, ease of use, uh, this is the best part about this uh, unit. Eh? Um, uh, keeping in mind, this is triggering. Um, in a full TTL mode, eh? so um, you know the, you know although the flashes are mounted remotely, the the camera is still making all the uh, decisions in terms of how much flash exposure the 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 flash is going to send out. Eh? Um, so in terms of use, okay, let's mount this on the camera. First, I mount one unit in, yeah, um, and then I mount. Uh, my uh, SB700 yeah okay. so let me see I turn on the turn on my flash uh, normal TTL yeah and then I turn on the, the transceiver yeah likewise yeah, I turn on I put on my uh, SB900 yeah uh, set it to master yeah and then turn on my uh, my transceiver unit. Eh? So notice, look, 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 see how 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 easy it is to control. Eh? I mean, this this is fully integrated into my uh, 
Nikon CLS system in the sense that I'm able to fully control the power of both my on-camera flash as well as my off-camera flash yeah? um, uh, directly from 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 you know my 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 camera or my flash yeah? and if you look at the statuses of uh, both units yeah? you see uh, both are uh, showing that they are uh, running in uh, full TTL mode. This is my off camera and this is my on camera. So let, let me try it out. Eh? Uh, okay. Yeah, you see, you see both are net triggered. Eh? Okay, now let me see if I want to adjust the, uh, the flash exposure for the uh, remote unit. Eh? Now let's see. I go into selecting my uh, remote unit. Uh, maybe I, I want to change it to uh, manual and then I, I, and I want to bump the power right up eh? so let, let it go full power so you can really see the effect eh? okay. see that? that was a full power okay so like you want to adjust the um, remote flash eh, to, um, to the lowest power setting possible yeah? uh, let, me, let me do that Okay, now lowest power. See that? See how easy it is? You know, like uh, all I did was just plug in the transceivers, put a um, put a on camera flash, and then set the on camera flash to master mode, and I'm controlling you know the uh, re remote flashes. Eh? So presumably, you know, this unit will work. You know, whether I have uh, one or two or multiple flashes. Eh? Um, um, okay. So this concludes my uh, review for the Yongnu YN622 uh, for Nikon. I, as I say, you know, I, I am haven't fully tested this out in the field, but uh, I mean, um, from the first looks, it looks like uh, it's got the f the full package here. You know, it's got the um, it's a fully wireless. You know, it uh, connects and uh, integrates you know, beautifully with uh, Nikon's uh, CLS system. Uh, ease of use, you just plug it in and if you turn on the, um, put on your own camera flash and you can control your flash power across uh, different uh, flash groups. Um, build quality, I'm, I'm, again, I, I must say I'm quite, quite uh, pleased with uh, how well built this thing is. Uh, and um, I've not tested it fully as well, but apparently it supports a uh, high speed sync as well. So that's another big plus uh, you, you, um, as opposed to using uh, traditional triggers, you know, you are limited by um, how fast your shutter speed can go before your flashes, you know, um, um, stop syncing with your shutter curtain. Eh? Um, and the best, best part of this is the price. Compared to a uh, pocket visit, this is uh, one quarter of the price. Of a, of a pocket wizard system and I think in terms of uh, functionality it, it, it more or less delivers you know, so the same uh, performance eh? so that's pretty good uh, bang for your buck eh? so again so um, thank you for watching here's uh, uh, the uh, Yongnu YN622 and um, enjoy thank you